So there are two ways that the internet will sort of uh, pervade our lives. One is by creating these virtual reality experiences where I can fully immerse myself in a virtual world. But I can like the real world. I'm not a gamer, you know, I, I'm, I'm not interested, in, I guess, in these sort of fully virtual worlds. To me, what's more exciting is this idea of what's so-called augmented reality. So the idea that I can take information from the internet or various types of concepts or whatever and some of the data that's out there and use it to overlay things on the actual real world around me. So I'm having an experience in the real world, but that experience is somehow uh, sort of um, overlaid by all sorts of information or different data that I might find online and different uh, depending on what I'm trying to do. So there's, you know, there, there's also tools out there people are using to, to uh, enable this sort of thing. Uh, this is one, this is, this is the Microsoft HoloLens. Um, I don't know why it keeps making the picture smaller, but you know, this is now, unlike a virtual reality headset, which is designed to sort of erase the actual reality around me so that it can replace it with a virtual one, augmented reality headsets are trying to sort of overlay these two worlds. So I want to be able to see through these glasses so I can see the actual world, but the glasses are also going to be able to project things on top of the world around me, and that could enable sort of, so you know, here's an example. I don't know why this is interesting, but this person is sort of like manipulating, um, you know, their, their screen sort of in physical space. So I can see the apartment uh, around me and so I'm not cut off from the physical reality of the world, but I can still have these experiences with technology that are, that are either virtual or in certain cases that are mediated by the physical world. So let me give you an example. Let's say you want to repair something in your house. Um, you know, what will we do today? Well, you go up on YouTube, you find a video about how to do the repair, you watch the video, you kind of try to map it onto your own situation, right? You're kind of like looking, okay, here's how I do this. Even if I can find somebody repairing the exactly same thing that I'm trying to fix and do the, doing the exactly same thing, I still have to perform this sort of mental mapping from the world of the video to the actual real world where I'm trying to manipulate this physical object. In the future, I think what will happen is, you know, you have these glasses on and the instructions will be overlaid directly on what I'm trying to do. So rather than saying, you know, loosen this particular screw, it, you know, the screw will sort of blink at me and sort of say, okay, this is the one that I take off first and then this is the one I take off second. And sort of taking information and instructions and data from the internet, from other people's experiences and using it to, to alter the world around me. You know, imagine being able to find your way to people's offices by sort of following lines on the floor. Imagine being able to you know do construction or repairs using uh, data that's overlaid on top of things so I think this opens up a lot of interesting experiences imagine being able to have a conversation with a couple of people at your table that aren't actually physically there so I'm having a meeting at my house at my own kitchen table in a place that I feel comfortable that I like and there's several other people there that actually don't exist in that physical space and maybe they're holding the same meeting with the same participants in a different location that they feel comfortable with and so this idea that I can blend the real world, which is exciting and interesting and fun and has real human beings in it and stuff and you know, beauty and interest and, and sort of variation and unexpected properties with information from the internet, I think will enable a lot of really interesting sort of very rich experiences of the world and a lot of new things that we can do. So this is kind of cool. Um, you know, we're obviously seeing various sort of, uh, you know, things like heads-up displays have always, always had a flavor like this. But, you know, just a heads-up display that you're wearing all the time, maybe even contact lenses that, that have this type of stuff just overlaid directly on them. I think, you know, that is something that we will definitely see in the future where, you know, rather than being this separate place that I go using a particular piece of technology, the internet and, compu and computation and this ability to sort of manipulate things and access data will be something that will be mediated by and very immersed in the physical environment that surrounds us.